on its own. Mm-hmm. Um, and I guess we do this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is this going to work? Yeah. that one down that was loud uh welcome to i the can show. do stuff hello my name is ian lee this is Catherine Boyle. hi but you i guess you know that if you are watching us on the stream live or if you're downloading uh the podcast so uh for those who are just listening to the 30 minute podcast this is a new thing that we're going to do we are um every week we do a stream for our patreons and uh, it's three hours long and we watch stuff and we talk about stuff and we take phone calls and it's very silly and sometimes there'll be a little like mental health bit and all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, but we want to give the first 30 minutes of that away free to you if you're listening to this free podcast. Yeah. How does that make you feel as a person? Hopefully pretty good. If you're new, welcome. You'll get used to it. That's all I can say to you. You will get used to it. So if you ever listen to like the talk radio stuff or the LBC or the three counties or any of that, absolute any of that, it's kind of that vibe, Mm -hmm. right? And if you're enjoying this 30 minutes, why don't you become a Patreon? What's a Patreon, Catherine? It's just a way we can hang out all the time. Well, not really, but just a bit more regularly. So you pay a quite tiny amount i don't think it's even the price of a decent sized coffee these days is it you can support us for two quid a month or if you start going in at 3.99 a you month start getting stuff start getting stuff mm-hmm. so yeah what do they get uh you will get Enjoy access access to our um behind the paywall shows then you will get also access to um all the stuff that we've done before and you will also get access yeah. to this but as an audio, because some people like like to listen rather than to watch. You might be on yeah. the move. You've got busy lives. We don't expect you to sit here for three hours, right? So there are different ways you can do it. But all you need to do is have a look. Click on this QR code if you're watching now. Or have a look online if you are listening. And if you listen to the podcast, I've put the link in there. we got some new Patreons yeah. this month. Uh, hello uh, to Tom Sexton. Fiona F. Um, who else? There was, uh, uh, hang on, there was there were a couple of others. Peter Smythe. Oh, I'm going yes. that's a Smythe with a Y. And Luke. And Martin Eden and Lambo. Oh, oh no, Lam- Lambo's been around for a while. Sorry, Lambo, take your name off that list. I thought I knew that, so, that name. Thank you to all those people for signing up to our Patreon. And thank you to our regulars. They've been here yep. for ages. Yep. And honestly, it is the most welcoming and most accommodating crew you will ever meet on the internet. And if you, very quickly, if you sign up for the Patreon, you get the full, we do a full three hour show every Friday. You can come and watch that live. You get the full three hour podcast of this. This is going to be 30 minutes. But then it goes on for another two and a half hours. You get access to 1,500 hours worth of stuff. That to one side. You can call us at any point as yeah. well and leave a message. We've got some messages. So we'll go to those. 0203 286 6370 is the telephone number. Um, and you can email late night alternative at gmail.com. Yeah. Late night alternative at gmail.com. We had a couple of messages. One of them, I think, is blank. Let's just listen. Is Yep. One of the, if your phone number ends 259, why you no leave a message? Uh, here's a message here. Um, let me just make sure this is going to come out the right speaker. Oh. oh, hello there. It's Elon Musk. Yes, the guy from X, formerly known as Twitter. I am just ringing uh, from South Africa uh, to find out if you're interested in advertising. I'm, I'm making phone calls now. Hello? Oh, I think it's a voicemail. Darling, I think it's a voicemail. Darling. What do I do? Can't be yes, you, no. DM me. That's direct message. What do I do now? I know. What about I can't put the phone down? It's about another 30 seconds of this. Mm. What do you mean, stupid accent? Shut up. Okay. Well, sometimes the messages that are That was good. not lecker. No. Sometimes the... Uh... Messages. If you're watching this now, you can call in uh, now. We've had a few weeks off. Yeah. Got a blinding headache today. I don't know what's going on. Um, and he's tried treating it with chocolate. Oh, we've got the sweats on and everything. We were in Seville mm-hmm. last week. Yes. Where it was hot. It was too hot. It was too hot. I mean, it was so hot that I spent one evening throwing up. 
because yeah. of the heat. Yeah. You had one evening where you had a terrible headache. Out. Together, out. what a combo. Yeah, I was wiped out. But it was brilliant. But if you do go, don't go in August, for heaven's sake, because you, you're better off not going out during the day if you're going to do that. Yeah, it was, it was. I mean, because New York was hot. They had a heat wave there. And then Seville, oh, flipping it. Do you mean, well, so when we're getting, we went Ryanair, sweet Jesus Lord. Oh, by the way, there's going to be no swearing in the first 30 minutes. After that, can't guarantee it. Mm -hmm. um, so we were with Ryanair. Yeah. And we'd chosen our seats, which apparently that gives you... Well, there's two things, right? First of all, priority. I, I, I didn't realise we had priority in Ryanair because I just booked the seats and you, I'd selected the seat. Pay a little bit extra, you select the seats. And um, I, I didn't realise it got us priority. So when we went to um, board, we were there quite early and there was a queue for non-priority. Yeah. And then there was the, the queue for priority. There was no one there. So... I, we had to walk around the zigzaggy ropes. Now, something you need to know about Ian, if you're, if you're new to this show, um, if you're not new to this, you already know, he gets very, very anxious before flights. Very anxious that we're going to get turned away or that you won't be able to put your bag in the overhead locker. There's all yeah, kinds of little steps he's got to go through before he can actually relax. So we queue up. He says, I'm, I think I'm priority. And I said, well, I see it on the piece of paper. They wouldn't write priority on it, would they, I don't if think it they wasn't? Would, but, but it said priority, and then underneath it said regular. Yeah. So then you start wondering whether it just means you're not special, not you, right? So, just going to open the back door. And we had, about, we had about 10 minutes, 20 minutes sitting there waiting before anything started to move, before anyone started to queue up. We were the very first ones to the point where we were able to sit down for a bit, and then we realised we didn't need to sit down. So anyway, we are there and the ground crew haven't arrived yet and people are starting to sort of drift towards the gate people started to queue up on the other side of the rope didn't they and we were thinking oh they think we're idiots very quickly if you're watching this now you want to call in be part of the free podcast 0203 286 6370 yes they think we're idiots they've all got pieces of paper that say priority regular underneath because they're not special yeah that, you know, when you've got too much time on your hands, you know, if we'd have got there and they'd have opened the thing, we would have we would have had a moment of doubt and then it would have been over. But we were allowed to sit there for too long, I think. Yeah. So but then the, the, the queue, queue formed. Is yeah, the queue formed and it starts to double over on itself. This is the non priority queue. Yeah. And it'd been up there for a while and there were, what, 50 people? Yes. And uh, the, the, the product, I'm wearing a product t shirt and you can go to tlna.co.uk and look at the shop there. Um, and then the, the staff came out and without really any concern said to the woman who was at the front of the non-priority queue right okay so you're all facing the wrong way if you've got to turn around the queue starts that way ah uh, uh, and suddenly she's at the back of the queue the whole, so, so we're the thinking people, for sure we're going to get a, we're going to get no, some kind of shock I wasn't thinking that because I had worked out how the queue was supposed to work well I just thought they were ruthless um the delivery of that message, the turn round, hey, guess what? You're at the back of the queue. Was done. Boom, boom, it boom. Was, she was savage. It was, was absolutely uh, brutal. They flipped the queue. Hello, Hello. caller. Hello, Hello, Ian. How's it going, mate? I'm good. Who's this? It's Dave. Dave, I'm Dave Aldo on the chat. All right, Dave. How you doing? Yeah, I'm all good. You? I'm all. I, well, no, I'm not great. I've got, I've got a really bad headache. One of my left eyes is. One of your left eyes. It's not a migraine. It's not a migraine, but it feels like the start of a migraine. So I'm not great, mate. How are you, Catherine? Fine. Okay, that's that sorted. <laughs> Dave, how are you? Yeah, I'm all good. I'm glad everyone's all right. Well, apart from him, I'm not. I literally it's, just said I'm not always, all right. And he's totally always brushed I'm just over saying, apart it. from your eye. <laughs> one, one of his left eyes, yeah. Totally brushed over it, Dave. Continue. <laughs> Yeah, I used to listen to you back in the day. I thought oh. I'd just touch base with you. Yeah, you touch going. my base. Touch my base. I'll lick yours. What? <laughs> base. Um, when you say back in the day, I am now so old, I have several days. backs in the days. So which which day were you specifically back in? So I used to go around London cleaning bus stops in my old job. Oh, shit. I remember you. Were you LBC and talk radio? No. Oh, no, absolute, absolute as well. Oh, okay. Well, virgin and absolute. Yeah, okay. Well, I come across you. Did we not meet cruise. once? Uh, I'll come into the studio one time. You I called thought... me Killer Dave back then. Oh, I remember uh, you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, absolute. Careful, <laughs> Take a step back from this one. Why? That was a while. That was a, a while, while ago. He's a killer. 
Are you still cleaning bus stops? No, I've oh, moved do- on from that job. What are you doing now? I uh, I'm doing uh, fire safety cladding inspection. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a serious one, man. I've moved up a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, that's a serious one. No, I've, I've got no humour there, I'm afraid, No, Catherine. thank uh, you for your service. Yeah, thank you for your service. Thank you. Oh, so First Catherine someone said to that me. to me. <laughs> um, do you want to, is there anything you want to ask or say or do? Are you just checking in? No, yeah, I just thought I'd see how you're doing. It's been a while. I haven't touched base. Well, I haven't touched base with you since I come in the studio, so I thought I'd just see how you're doing. I've got, I've got two kids. They're 12 and 14. You may have heard the 14-year-old on the show when he was a baby, and we pretended that Eloise was babysitting. Uh, I've got three cats. I've just taken delivery of three more, of four cats that I'm fostering, one mum and three kittens. And today, a stray cat rocked up in my garden. I thought, here we go again. A stray cat who looked oh. a hell of a lot like a different one that we We'd had in the garden a yeah. while back. We can, we, we're suspicious that there may have been some sort of memo put out, and this is the kid of that previous cat. So that's oh, that's, no wrong with cat. that's the that's my uh, last fifteen years in summary. Oh, yeah, oh, dogs and one cat. How many dogs? Six. No, mate. You know I'm going to have to cut you off for that. All right, then. See you. An actual dog pervert. No, six dogs. No, that's not right, that's, is it? No, the six of any animal is uh, is too many. That's too many, man. That's not good. So they flipped the queue. Yeah. Um, completely flipped the queue. People in that the front were now at the back. Those people were reeling from the news. All of them. Oh my god! I thought I got here late. Look at me now. I'm at I the feel front. Terrible. We're still waiting to find out whether we're going to be sent to the actual back of the queue. The rope front is room. moved. We are the front. We oh. show them our papers. We get waved through. I get called back. Yeah. Excuse yeah. me, madam. This is weird. We're going to have to change your seats. Oh, oh. Is it because we're not priority? Is what we're thinking. Because they changed the plane. It was a smaller plane. Yeah. By about by twelve. Yeah. So they st- they changed our seats, and she wrote on it with biro only because she said, "Oh, will you remember, or shall I write on it?" I was thinking, write on it because I, I need receipts. So we got on the plane, sat down with the first ones on there. Sat down. I didn't put my seatbelt on just in case. Um, and people start filing on. And then we hear the words, "I think you're in the wrong seats." Uh, hello, caller. Hi. Uh, yeah, first time caller, long time listener. Yes, um, uh, yes, yes. Just want, yeah, yeah, me. Um, just you... want to check. Had a bit. We hang on a second. Hello? By the way, I, sh- I meant to open the show with this. Um, oh. If anybody is listening to this, and I'm, I say this, and I thought, well, no one will be. Then I saw some of the people that were following me on Twitter. If you were a fan of the. Uh, far right wing terrorist racist riots that took place last week. Don't listen. That that this isn't for you. No. We well, are not welcome. Nick Ferrari's on a Monday. Nick, you're Nick not Ferrari's welcome. Back on a Monday, you're not welcome you? here. And I, the reason I say that is because some guy I, I tweeted something and some guy said something edgy and I looked and he's like big fan of all of those. I'm not even going to mention their names. All of those. <clears throat> and he was following me. I thought, why are you following? Surely some mistake. So if you're one of them, you're not welcome here. I expect to get a tweet or an email saying, no, 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 no. you don't like free speech. No, I do. I don't like racist terrorists. Anyway, Gary. Funny or you mentioned if that, that is indeed your name, call. first time caller. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, yes, yes. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Well, it's a good guess, but not right. No. I had a bit of a dilemma earlier. This is why I um, thought of that. So... Weren't there? Are you near? Are you near Walthamstow? No. So you didn't go to the ten thousand strong protest. No, nowhere near the Walthamstow area. Why not? Why didn't you go? Well, you support racism. No, I don't know if you've heard recently. I've had an operation. Not going out much at the moment. Okay, so you so you do support racism. Similar to another. I support staying at home. When when uh, you support staying at home, what do you mean by home? England. well, if if there is a, a if there while, is a protest outside my front yeah. door, you got yes. If there's a protest outside yes. my front door, I will um, visit. Now, as we know, Gary does a protest in his toilet every <laughs> every morning at about nine a.m. Oh. <laughs> eight eight thirty at the moment. He's, he's, uh, dropping, still, um... he's dropping his own pipe bombs. But um, uh, so okay, so you didn't go. I did. I um, we were away when all the stuff was happening, right? And I was honestly, just, we we turned oh, back to ten minutes. Oh, convenient. I, and I was just watching. I was just looking at it on Twitter, going, "Oh my god, this is awful!" Right? 
and I, I knew the I knew the pendulum would swing back the other way. I know there's more good people than bad. I didn't realise it would be so quick. Yeah. And that Walthamstow um, uh, peace protest it's beautiful. was was beautiful. When there's ten thousand people and there's seven uh, extreme right wing <laughs> racist terrorists like up against I boots don't, or something. I don't think they're even seven. I think they were like five in a couple so of. Have you seen the picture from yeah, above? It apparently, someone said it was like the racist in between us. <laughs> you seen that picture? I don't know you why they went. Them. I don't know why they went to Walthamstow. There's not a branch of Lush or Greg's to be found anywhere, apparently. It's, it, they picked some... You, you've got to think... I know Walthamstow very, very well. And you, you think, right, where are we going to go and protest against brown people? Probably not going to do it at Walthamstow because it's a very successfully integrated part. And, and probably best not to do it in Brighton, which is probably the most liberal yeah. place in the country that that was that was my favorite picture my second favorite picture was the uh, five men on a roundabout on a, a traffic island they wanted their island back they got it they got it they got <laughs> it mine was the guy arguing with the police riot shield oh with over. the pink top on yeah, God, doing, the, doing the best the best the best dive since Greg Luganis. we've all don't get it we've all forgotten the two in the head one well. in the nuts haven't we <laughs> he started it all off <laughs> oh yeah Two in the head, one in the nuts. Are you having, Gary, to commemorate yeah. the death of an icon, are you having a succulent Chinese meal at all in th this weekend? Well, no, because nowhere around here delivers any succulent Chinese meals. What? Um, in where I live. Yeah, I know. And uh, because of the not going out thing, I, I cooked in this evening. I had a nice sausage, which is, leads me to my dilemma. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I was going to make a sausage and bean casserole, like a... OK, he's got a bit bored there. He's going wanging on and on. We've, what we found out is he, he, he agrees with the right-wing terrorists. And he couldn't be bothered to stand up for what he believes sausage in. Sausage and beans, that's not a casserole. a plate. It's not a casserole, is it? It's a plate. Kids tea. It's a kid, isn't it? Do you want, do you want uh, egg and chips with that, sir? An egg and chip casserole with beans. Mohammed Omar says, can't call up. Must be a repeat. Call now, Mohammed Omar. 0203 286 6370 is the phone number if you want to give us a call. Do 236, it, come up. Do it. I'll answer it. If I miss it. it, I'll call you back. So the seats were moved from 34B and A, A and B, to 3B and A. So we, but they didn't change, all they did was take the boarding pass and just write the number on. And I'm thinking, this, this is not going to go. Well, yeah, so then your anxiety shifted to someone's going to come and tell us we're in the wrong seats. And sure enough, we hear a voice. I think you're in the wrong seats. And I said, oh, well, well, and I'm looking at the steward at this point and saying, I've got this here. We got moved. Well, she saw my passport. You're 34. You're, you're seat 34. And I said, no, no, no. And then I just went to the bloke. Can you come and help? Yeah. Because he'd explained it to people in front who'd, who'd um, bought extra legroom seats and had been moved one back or something. They didn't have extra legroom. So we'd already been through this once. But this lady came on and she was not happy about it, right? Even after it was explained and she was in her seat. Well, she did get separated from her friend. Her friend, and that yeah. was that was lousy. Yeah. And I, and I get about being annoyed by the situation, but she was seething and she was angry at us. All the way. I didn't want to move seats and be... I didn't want that. She was angry at us. And for the whole flight, bad vibes. You need a travel enemy. I was trying to explain this to my boys when we were um, uh, going to New York. I said, you've got to have a travel enemy. Was yeah. That, you've got to be one person that for probably not any real reason you've got to hate. Yeah. It might be they put their seat back and they're leaning on you. They push, they got your luggage rack. On my honeymoon, it was a kid in a hat. Oh. Yeah, a kid in a sort of a Panama hat who kept having to be called by his parents. And then another one, it was a man in flippers. There always seems to be an accessory involved with me. Maybe it's just I'm a minimalist or something. But uh, yeah, you do have to have a holiday enemy and I dare you to tell me that you're not that person. If, if you haven't got the holiday enemy, you are everyone. There was a weird thing, and I, it's difficult to talk about because there's going to be no swearing in this free bit. After, listen, man, after half seven, you know, there's a... But at Stansted Airport, we... I saw two... We saw two men coming out of the toilets, <gasps> mid-twenties. One was dressed as Aladdin. Well, like a sort of... I think it's sort of some sort of genie costume. One was dressed as a genie. One was just dressed normal. They're coming out and they're chatting and they're laughing. And then they got to like the middle of the thing and they went, all right, well, have a good trip. Take care. Nice to meet you. And they went off in different directions. They were 
Well, I'm not going to... We call, They were pea buddies. They became buddies. At the urinal. Um, I can see someone's trying to call us. You can call from your mobile phone, Mohammed. Um, they became friends at the urinal. Yeah. I've heard that can happen. The friendship's usually more fleeting. They don't talk to each other when they come out. These guys were having a good old chat. They were telling each other about plans. I kind of assumed they knew each other or were sort of mutuals, but no, complete strangers. It's just that one of them was wearing a comedy genie outfit and had attracted the one's attention. Funnily enough, I saw some tweets from someone who met me, two people that met me at two different urinals. I've searched my own name. The uh, hell? I do that. Um, now, it, it, one of them gave me gay porn. Uh, I seem, oh, okay. Uh, here we go. So there's a thread here from yesterday Someone says, stood next to Lily Cole at Sunset Rubdown. Piper, I don't know who that is, Phil Jupiter's, spotted at the venue, Helena Bonham Carter at Rufus Wainwright, James Norton at Martha Wainwright, Misha Barton at several gigs. Uh, next, but Jeremy says, I stood next to and had a chat with Phil Jupiter's at a Hawksley Workman gig once. Goes on and on. And then Queen, Queenie Burns says, oh, I remember seeing Ian Lee at a gig and John Stern giving him a gay porn mag for some reason. I remember that. Who's John Stern? I don't know who John Stern is. Well, these guys obviously do. And then Jeremy says, ha ha, I remember taking a pee next to Ian Lee at an annual music industry pop quiz at the 100 Club, which he was hosting. I pointed out to him that last year's host was Tommy Vance, who was now dead. That was nice. Why are we talking about meeting people? Oh, the pee friends. Yeah. Uh, it was... Uh, different Gear says, good to see you both. I assumed you'll be at one of the protests today. Nope. Uh, working, isn't it? Yeah. Working. Yep. Why aren't you at the protest? Maybe they are. Maybe it's a bit quiet. Good point. Maybe this is a pre-record. Maybe. And we plan that. Maybe oh, we're part of the machine. If you're watching this live, you can call us. If you're listening to this, you can call and leave a voicemail. I never answer it during the week. 0203. 286 6370 is the telephone number if you want to give us a call. Do it. Um, this is the free 30 minute podcast. There's going to be another two and a half hours after this. Sign up to the Patreon. We'll give some details at the end. Um, so even when she went to the toilet, she had her hands on the hip. She looked like she was furious oh, with the toilet. Yeah. That she didn't have any pee buddies. No, no one would have dared. We also went and saw a film the other day. Uh, the pictures. Film I heard a lot of good things about. My good friend Dave Dogface. Oh told my was good. god, I'd forgotten about that. Reviews were great. Everything was great, apart from the film itself, which was Pony. But we have got one of oh, our. Oh look at me! I got my long legs on. We have got a new comedy voice out of it. I got my long legs on. Hey, almost birthday girl. It oh was. Would you believe it? Would you? Would you believe it? Good evening, Nigel. All right. Good evening. Kath, uh, Nigel, could you move to the kitchen? <laughs> People who, who the I'm last show they listened to was kitchen, was the last yeah. show they listened to from us was Talk Radio four years ago. And we were having they, the they same go, problem. Nothing has changed. Uh, I, I, I thought you were happy tonight. What 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 channel are you on now? We're on um, YouTube. We're on Twitch. Um, this is going to be a free podcast. This is. Uh, this is gonna this is gonna be heard by literally about two hundred and twenty five people in total. Not, not many, is it? <laughs> oh, wagon! How many have you got? Uh, I mean, is it uh, is it live on YouTube? You go right, on YouTube right then? now, right now, right now. Is it really? What's how, how do I get it? What do I put in? <clears throat> go on YouTube. Yeah, I know you know how to do that. <laughs> Yeah, it's like pulling up. It's, <laughs> it's less mucky, but you, yeah. And then you search up. Anyway, what's he searching up? Go YouTube dot com slash yeah. Ian Lee. Yeah, okay. And I've, um, I'm revamping I, I've my. You don't something to talk about. Have you been enjoying the hot weather? No, it's too hot. It's been no, making us a bit poorly, Nigel. I, I got up at eight o'clock and I, I couldn't sit out in it earlier. Oh, you know, I'm walking okay now. Oh, that's good. Okay, well done. Well done. Because, uh, you know, I couldn't walk when I came out of hospital. I was struggling to walk. Were you um, struggling to do I, anything I, else? I'm right, I'm, um, I'm going to be singing up the church on Sunday. Uh, when you sing songs, up the church, but... do you have to sing hymns and psalms and stuff, or do they let you do your no, songs? No, you can sing. You, 
So you can sing whatever ones you want to sing, like Fly Me to the Moon and things like that. The church? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do a show at church one anyway. <laughs> Whether they want church, it or not. church one in the church. <laughs> so what might you sing at the church on Sunday? Uh, it's Sunday morning. Yeah, is it during the during the service or after when everyone's... No, after, the, the, after the, service. the service when the people... Uh, before they go home, yeah. All yeah. oh, right, just to finish them off. Just, uh, yeah, it might fit me in during the break. I'm not sure yet. I don't know if they have, like, um, half-time at uh, church services, do they? Might be, I might be a cat, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, what was what was Jesus um, if he wasn't um, an entertainer, a, an entertainer yeah. at Chicken in the Basket? <laughs> oh dear, this trouble, that terrible trouble in the country, all that setting lights to shops and breaking windows. And, yeah, it's dreadful, isn't it? It is dreadful, but good always wins that, out. Someone, really someone said to me, "It's the government's fault for letting the people come in the country." Yeah, someone who said that to you is a massive racist and is is wrong. Yeah, I mean, you can't no. chuck them out if, if they got no. No, because they live here, and they're yeah. they're British. Hey, and Nigel, and... you know who was a refugee, don't you? Uh, Jesus, your mate Jesus. You and imagine on Sunday. Imagine if... Oh, no, they did kill him, didn't they? That's not great. Oh, yeah. Hicks um, on the ice tray. I was going to say something I've forgotten that. Probably um, for the best in oh, this I've conversation. No, how dare you? I've been, <laughs> I've been talking to um, Nella, Cyrus, Nella Cyrus with a tick on them. Um, Probably Miley, it, Miley Cyrus and again. No, Noah's, Noah's the sister. Okay, again, again if you haven't no, listened to us for if you haven't listened to us for four years, nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. Pardon? Nothing. Talk, I'm talking to the listener. Oh, okay. Um, you know, so anyway, can, just um, just a little note of caution that you won't listen to. People can buy ticks now. You know that, right? Pardon? You can buy a tick now. You don't have to be the actual famous person. Just no, I suppose. Nigel, just going back to something. I've been, I've been walking I, a mile a day. To can I ask you a question? A mile a yeah. Your lovely mum, when she was ill in hospital, I would imagine yeah. she was looked after by doctors, nurses, cleaners. Yeah. What, what are they call the people that push the truck? Porters. Porters. And I bet they were all different colours. All had different oh, accents. Yes, Just yes. Get really worried where you're going to go with that. All had different accents. All came, maybe their parents or grandparents, or they came from different countries. Some would have come here well, because they uh, wanted well, no, to. Well, Some would have come here because mm. their country was at war or whatever, and, and we utilised their skills. That's what immigration is. Mm. That's what immigration is. Well, they, 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 they're, they're good workers anyway. Okay. Um, it's nice to talk to you, mate. Thanks very much for calling. Wow! Could you pass me? Could you hit the pass me the bell, but hit it yourself on the way here, and then I'm going to hit it as well. We're back with a bang, baby. Oh my word! Oh two oh three, two eight six, six three seven oh. Amanda, you give us a call if you're watching it live. You can call now. And if you're listening, you can call and leave a message about that. You can also email late night alternative at gmail dot. You can even call us from the 80s, as you heard there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, we went and saw Long Legs. No spoilers here, right? It's been really hyped up, Nicolas Cage, and there was a, they were, like, showing a trailer where they blacked out his face because it was supposedly so horrible, and they put a heart rate monitor on the woman who... I don't know her name. Do you no. know, was she famous? I don't I didn't recognise. She was very good. Uh, but they put a heart rate monitor on it to measure a heart rate in real time. And, and that was the... And it was supposed to have been the first time she'd beheld this vision of horror. That scene was crap. That scene was crap. The film... And I I really gave it my best shot. I thought I thought bits of it looked beautiful. I like the 70s style, yes. even though it's set in the 90s. Yes. I thought the film was awful. Absolutely awful. And no one's saying that. Everyone's going, yeah, it's a good, it's a good film. The standout part for me was for, for once, um, my eyes were not drawn by his hairline. It was the chin. <laughs> it was the chin. <laughs> That's a bit of a spoiler. That's the, that was the best bit of the film, was Nicolas Cage's chin in, in long, long legs. legs. <laughs> oh, dear. 
I've got my long legs on. Here's my takeaway from that. He was having a great time, wasn't he? He gets paid for that. I know, he's having a great time. He gets paid for that. We're going to get a call from Mohammed in a minute. He's, he's worked out he's been a plonker. Oh, no. What have you done this time, he's Mohammed? He's worked out he's been a plonker. So, yeah, I've not seen a good film at the cinema for ages. Last, Let's go so. Long Legs, before that, Despicable Me Civil 4. Civil War was brilliant. Well, that's, have we got to go back a long way? I'm going backwards. So, Long Legs, Despicable Me 4. And I've got a lot of time for the Minions. That was rubbish. Those guys. A Quiet Place Round 2 or whatever it's called, the new one. That was crap. Um, um, do, are we including watching hooky films illegally as going to the pictures? Or going to special screenings? I, now, can I share something with you, dear listener? That Catherine is my, my best friend, my, my partner, and is just one of the greatest human beings that I've ever had the privilege of knowing. True. But sometimes she's a dick. No. And I have I upgraded my internet right I upgraded it because apparently that's a response you have to give every time he says it I'm, I'm with Sky right and it went down it went down for two days I had to Dave next door I had to get a cable through the window and but in it <clears throat> and so I looked at alternatives and recently they were installing poles for a brought a fiber company and so I phone up Sky, I said, can you fix this? I oh, will do our best. Got nine quid off them today for that. Nice. And I'm paying Sky 36 quid for 35 Phone. to 40. Oh, hang on. Well, see, this is going well, isn't it? It's yeah. like, hello, caller. Hello. Hello. Is this Mohammed? Uh, this is Mohammed. Oh, what, hey. what, what were you doing wrong? Why couldn't Because I saw you trying to get through. What happened? Yeah, I didn't press. I don't. I never just never saw the double sixes because I was kind of like uh, um, switching screens in a way. And the si the sixes kind of are the most. It. Like it's what o two o three, what is it? O two o three two eight six six three seven. Kind of hangs on the sixes. Yeah. I know. I just never saw it. It's a lesson wow. for life for me. I don't it know. Is. It's right from my face. There totally are no is. mistakes. It's just an opportunity to learn, Mohammed. Or, or, or you muffed up. That was a mistake. Um, I did, but the, your lovely wife has just given me um, something I can carry with me for the rest of my life. So anytime okay, I fail, I'll be looking at We're not married yet. <laughs> but but the, lessons will, the lessons from me come thick and fast, Mohammed. So strap in. It won't be the last one you learn today. Yes. <laughs> um, Ian, uh, I was listening to you back in uh, 2006. And your 2006. radio show. Where, where was 2006? Yeah. That, was that LBC still? It was LBC indeed. Yeah. It's three o'clock. And I remember yeah. distinctively Sorry you to. going to Morocco and saying, Will I die? Uh, will there be a plane crash and will I die? Jesus, did and, I say uh, that? I don't remember. I remember, going, a yeah, yeah. Cell, I remember doing the show from Morocco because it was so hot. It was so dusty. Yeah. I don't remember um, worrying. I don't remember that. But yes, okay. But possibly, I don't. Well, you, you obviously. And then. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, what the heck's going on? But it was in a fun way, you know. You were like, was... will I die on my trip to Morocco? Fun plane crashes, yeah. Fun with plane crashes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've got the same problem with plane crashes. But then... You can't do it now. Um, do you know why you can't do that now? Why? Because of woke. You could... <laughs> can't say anything Co now. Copyright Matt Murray, the computer game show. <laughs> Um, oh, and, but your 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 show Ian was really fantastic. This was obviously before mobile phones and stuff, um, yeah, with smartphones, I should say. And yeah. really, I was in a tough job, and uh, you know, I it was the only thing that kept me going in those hours. And I listened to it attentively, like. like uh, you sound quite I young. Can't. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. say he can't uh, be. No, I'm just trying to work it out. So twenty years ago, <laughs> um, and he was working. Yeah. I know. I'm getting it. You're 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 like forty one, right? Uh, very close. I'm 43. Two out. Not bad. But he looks, 41. Bit, I, he looks 41. He um, looks 41. It looks 41. I found, uh, I found, I found young, but I look old. You so do, uh, yeah. Around, um, Catherine sounds old and I'm looks old. talking of this. Uh, so what? Talking so, of looking young. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you look fantastic. You look like, you're like, I mean, I'm in shock when I, when I put on the... Uh, put on your show on YouTube. I was like, what the heck? And nobody else is telling you. It's just me. I think people are just so jealous. It's, it's unbelievable. People are so it's jealous. Really yeah, that's totally what it is. It's as if, like, they look at him and they think, oh. I'm he's... 62. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, shut up. I'm 51. 
Now, you, you look oh, fantastic, <laughs> man. Whatever <laughs> you do, you look great. You've got to keep that going. Because okay, seriously, you could be a movie star. Cream. You've got movie star looks. Right. You're getting weird now. Give them back. They're a bit baggy. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no. Well, no, no. Seriously. No, I'm not joking. I'm seriously, you look young. I, I'm, I'm about to start my, I just rang for a personal trainer on Wednesday at three o'clock. I'm going to start my training schedule. So I have a trainer. I'm going to do it. I'm a fat lard. Oh. So, uh, You're going to get yes, ripped, Mohammed. I've, I've lost about nearly two stone the last couple of months, which is... Um, which well, it's funny because I'm intending to lose two stone. Yeah. Do it. So let's Do get it, it on. Is, is yeah, life, I you will. said you were in a bit of a miserable job 20 years ago. Everything all right now? Yeah. Um, uh, yes and no. 20 years ago, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I was 26 years, years old driving a black car, so it wasn't fantastic, but it was okay. Um, and then I became a driving instructor. And uh, no, I started when I was 20. Okay. Yeah, so I was a cabbie at 20, unfortunately. It was a tough job, yeah. Uh, you're yeah, driving instructor um, now. No, I took uh, what happened was that entire time from, you know, from that time, 20 to all the way to, I think, uh, around uh, 37, I didn't do anything. I just worked. I did nothing else. I think on holiday, I didn't go to the beach. In fact, I had never been to the beach until I was about 38. So when 38, I think it was just around Corona, or just slightly before Corona, I said, that's it. I've had enough. And I just got up and fi uh, funnily enough, the first place I went to was Morocco and then from there, um, I just carried on going all the way through North Africa and wow. Egypt. And wherever I went, I met people in Greece and Jap ended yeah. up in Japan. And where did you so go to in Japan? On. I was in Japan last year. Uh, I was in Matusayama, which I took a flight to Tokyo. I stayed in Tokyo and I flew to Matusayama. Where is that? Is that out to the west? I can't say. I'm just too, I'm too, I'm too um, lazy to even kind of oh, check up. But it was a lovely place. You. You, it may not have even uh, been Japan. For, he could have just... The, the the plane pilot could have just found, have found a sucker here. You know, won't even look at a map. Just we'll just put him in the back for a couple of hours, like that space cadet show where they pretended they were flying them to yeah. Russia. Just get some Japanese people and some shops and be fine. <laughs> what social. airline did you fly on in? To go to Japan. Yeah. It was it was like Finnish or something. Finn Air. Uh, you stopped something, somewhere then, yeah. Something like that. We stopped. You stopped in. We couldn't afford direct. So yeah, stopped in Germany for a bit. Anyway, oh, Mohammed. No. We yeah. the, sh the, sh the listen. We're going to do another couple of hours of this, but the podcast okay. show that people are listening to in their ears that's coming to mm -hmm. an end right now. So, Mohammed, keep watching because there's more to come, okay. and we'll speak. It's really nice well, to hear your voice, man. Thank you. Uh, pleasure. All the best to you. Take care. And, Just, uh, goodbye. Thank you. Bye. For nice the to meet memories. you. I like it now when people remind me of that stuff. I didn't used to like. I'm gonna. Um, uh, I'm gonna um, change his. How do I do that? don't know how to do that um i like it when people um, come on and blow smoke up your ass yeah i noticed yeah i do actually <laughs> no i like being reminded of the old stuff now good i like being reminded of the old stuff listen if you're listening to the podcast that's it it's done for you uh it's going to carry on for another two two and a half hours uh for the people that are watching if you want to hear the whole three hour podcast if you want to watch the whole two and a half, three hour show every week. If you want access to about 1500 hours of video and podcast, then sign up to our Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash Ian and Catherine. Patreon.com slash I A I N and Catherine with a K. You can start supporting us from two quid a month. Have a look at the tiers, it's great. Uh, it's great. It, we think so. There's loads of different options, is what I meant to say, but it, count, it came out saying it's, it's a great, great variety. You can give us a call during the week, 0203 286 6370. Yeah. You can email late night alternative at gmail.com. Do that. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Bye. Now the freeloaders have gone. I can swear our heads this off. This is...